know what really went down in Puerto Rico. So, okay guys, what's up? Welcome to the channel. Welcome back to the channel. You already know. So, I'm going to be recording like this. The lighting's not that good, but like I'm kind of like on vacation kind of. So, this is just a bad time for the drama to go down, but y'all just got to get it right. So, let's chat while I eat hot Cheetos. So, Eileen, if you didn't know, went to Puerto Rico to visit her man that you know accord like according to her she was pregnant by but we'll get into that so she just kind of goes over the fact that he attacked her allegedly attacked her something that she had to end up going to the hospital because the trip went bad so she just goes over that in this one um i'm gonna go back to how everything started and like how it even came that i went down there so I was chilling, living my life, just chilling. And I get a phone call from a no call ID number. And I answered the call and then they hung up right away. And I was like, what the heck, okay? And then I get like a FaceTime call from like a weird area code. And I was like, what the hell? So I answered it, but like I had my, I turned my like camera like around so that they couldn't see my face. And then it was Alex and I was like what the hell and then he was literally like bawling his eyes out and I was like what's wrong like are you okay by the way I did not have his number um he still had my number because I hadn't changed it but I didn't have his so I didn't know it was his when I didn't know it was him when I answered the phone call so I answered the phone call he was literally like bawling his eyes out and I was like what's wrong like are you okay like I haven't heard from him and I think it was like at that point like three weeks and I was just like what's going on he's like I just watched like one of your videos and then he's like I don't know I just brought so much emotions and so much memories and then we started like talking from there like it was just more of like oh how are you this and that and we would text here and there and then it started getting more and more and then I was just believing that he changed i just felt at the time in my heart i just felt like i still wanted to try to make things work with him like i wanted to believe that he changed and i wanted to believe all of these things and then it came to the point where i took a trip out there and when we seen each other um it was obviously super emotional and it just didn't feel the same though it was so weird because i was even texting ruby and telling her like girl like it doesn't feel the same like i don't know like that that love and that connection was just not there anymore yes i was super stupid for going over there yes i was super dumb for believing him i was just dumb in general i'm a dumbass yes i agree with you guys but i still had hope i guess we just started like arguing a lot when i was over there and i was like what the hell like we shouldn't be arguing we haven't seen each other in a while like we shouldn't be arguing the first day that i got there i was like okay like i'm not gonna film this i'm not gonna film that i'm with him because i just didn't want to look like a dumbass and i was like i don't want people to know and it was honestly it's embarrassing but because you guys already know like the whole story and what happened and stuff so like if you don't know the whole story basically like she ended up in the hospital for a broken arm i mean that's what she said but it's like sis where's the broken arm how are you gonna say you broke your arm where's the broken arm like it's not broken we don't know the whole story what is she talking about that happened and then we started arguing that night and then we finally just got over because i was like okay i'm not gonna ruin my trip like i spent a lot of money coming out here i'm just not gonna ruin my trip and then after that we just started chilling and then the next day he um we started fighting again and it was because like he was more like i'm not gonna lie i'm gonna be super honest with you guys it bugged me so much because he was just like on his live like he was getting so much attention his views were up because people knew that we were together and just like all that stuff and he loves the attention like he feeds off that shit and he just kept like going on live and live and live and i was like okay like hello like i'm here like are you gonna pay attention like i didn't come over here for nothing like i didn't come over here for you just to be on live and you know just 
doing that and he didn't understand that i told him and then he got mad he tried to flip it and make, make it seem like it was me so i was like okay like am i like overthinking it am i being like too much by telling him like hey like you know like i'm telling you guys he was literally going live like probably about like five times a day constantly like on his phone like taking pictures and like going on live doing little videos and i was just like hello like i'm right here and it made me more mad because the first night that i went live he was like okay like after we got into the fight he was like okay like no more going on live and he was like let's just be like together he's like we haven't seen each other in a while like let's focus on us and i was like okay like that's fine so i like stopped and i was like okay let's do this and then he started doing it so i was just like what the hell but then he made it seem like i was overreacting and like it was me and like i was the problem and i was just like wait like am i i started thinking like am i and i was like you know what no like i'm fucking not the problem like i'm telling you what's bugging me and then you're trying to flip it on me and then you start a big old fight over it so the next day i was supposed to leave it was supposed to be my last day there and he was like oh like stay one more day like this is not enough time and stuff like that i canceled my flight ticket i couldn't get a refund i couldn't change the flight so i lost my ticket and mind you my ticket was like 600 and something dollars and i had to pay another 430 dollars for the next day to leave the next day i and i did it like a dumbass i know somebody fucking slapped me um so i stayed an extra day that <laughs> i'm so mad because that last day was a waste of my time a waste of my money because i had to uh, book another hotel which was like a 200 dollars a night it was just a fucking mess so i was just like oh my god like this can't be real like somebody just fucking slapped me so i could wake up and just like get it together because i was not thinking i was just i was letting my emotions get the best of me and then the last day that i was there which was the day i was supposed to leave but ended up being the last day that i was there um we i wanted to go to the beach i was like oh like let's go to the beach um i love the beach it's just so relaxing i was just on a chill vibe and he was like all right it was already late because we had came from cabo rojo to condado and it was like a two hour drive so it was already like six o'clock when we got down there it was already gonna get dark in like an hour or it was like five and then it was gonna get dark it was gonna get dark in like an hour though i don't remember what time it was either five or six and he was like oh like we only have an hour so i was like all right that's fine um and then we went to go eat and then we stopped and at like a little spot where the beach was and that's when he had like those oysters and he went on live again i was like okay like we stopped to get food so this we could eat it at the beach and just chill and vibe so we got food that's the day that he was eating the oysters and we stopped we were supposed to get off and he's like oh let me do a live really quick and i was like all right like that's fine like who cares like do a live and i thought he was just gonna like do like a quick like two minute live no he was literally sitting there chilling on live i was like okay you're telling me like we only have an hour until like it's dark like this is our plan was to sit here chill and eat and we're literally eating all our food in the car like i'm not sitting here waiting for you to finish your live eating my food like i don't know it was just irritating to me so i, I was irritated at that point already he finished all his food right and then I, after he got off live he was like oh are you ready let's go and i was like we came at first time you asked me to stay an extra day i stayed an extra day and you're telling me like let's go to the hotel and just that's it because he had to work the next morning and i was just like what like i could have just went home today like we were just on the road all day and then like we were at the hotel and then we were on the well the airbnb and then we were on the road we we're supposed to come here this is the last thing we we're supposed to do and then go to the hotel and go to bed and you're telling me let's go now because you're done with life i was like you could have just did that and i could have left so I was irritated. I'm, when I'm irritated and I'm mad, I'm not going to talk. I'm going to keep my mouth shut and I'm not going to say anything. I'm going to be irritated and you're going to tell them I'm irritated because my face is going to say it all. My attitude is going to say it all. I'm just not going to talk to you. So he knew and then that pissed him off that I was mad. He's like, oh, like, what's your problem? So I told him what was wrong and he's like, you're going to get mad over a live and this and that. I was like, well, yeah. I was like, because you told me you were going to go on there really quick. You wasted the whole time. We didn't even get to go to the beach, which you know that that's what I wanted to do. And this is my last day. Like, you're just, I told him, I was like, I feel like you're just like, 
you don't even care that I'm here. I was like, you're just more about social media right now because you're getting more attention right now. Your views are going up because you're with me and people know that and people want to be cheese muscles and you know, so he was getting so much attention and he like loved it. And I was just like, uh uh, like I'm not for that. Like I didn't come here for that. I came here to spend time with you to see where we were at. Like if it could work, if it's not gonna work. And it clearly showed me that it was not gonna work. And then after that, the like argument started. We didn't talk the whole way to the hotel. When we finally got like outside the hotel, I went to go pay for it. And then he was like, oh, take me home. And I was like, okay, like, I'm not going to stay here by myself at this damn hotel. I was like, I'll just go home. Like, I'll book another flight ticket and just go home tonight. And then he was like, in his mood and in his fucking way that he is. And he was like, give me an Uber. And I was like, I could take you. And I was like, I'll drop you off. He's like, no, give me an Uber. So I downloaded the Uber. I mean, being the bitch that I was, I was like, okay. Like, because I was already in my mood. So I was like, all right, whatever. So I was going to get him an Uber and then... <laughs> it started and they're like oh you're really gonna do that and i was like well don't fucking tell me to do something especially when i'm mad because i'm gonna do it we got off the car we went inside the thing he ended up getting in the shower and i was laying down i was watching netflix and then when he got out he ended up laying down on the bed and i feel so embarrassed for even saying this but i'm gonna say it because i'm gonna keep it real and this is just what i did i'm stupid i get it and i know i'm not the only person in the world that does shit like this when you think you love somebody you do stupid shit and well i don't think that i love him i actually did um so i like still tried hugging him and like try to stop fighting because i was like okay this is my last day here like i'm not gonna waste this night and your girl was trying to get some dick <laughs> um <laughs> oh my god even though i had just got some that morning but still i'm gonna keep it blunt with you guys so i freaking was like hugging him <laughs> oh my god okay so i was hugging him and then like he was just laying there i ended up falling asleep like hugging him like an idiot and then i woke up and then he was just still on his phone i was like are you freaking serious like do you not see me here like hello like i'm trying to get your attention like do you not get it do you not comprehend like are you that fucking stupid like did they fuck your head up when you were in boxing or what the fuck and I was pissed at that point. I was like, all right, like, you know what? Fuck him. Like, I'm not even going to try no more. Like, I'm going home tomorrow morning. Fuck him. And he went to work. He was supposed to go to work at four in the morning. So I was like, I got to wake up early. By that time, it was already like seven o'clock. And then he just laid, he turned his phone off, turned his back towards me, laid down and went to sleep. I was like, oh, hell no. And then I was craving, I was watching a show on Netflix and then I was craving a caramel frap and a brownie so i literally i was like oh starbucks is across the street literally across the street like i could literally see it from the hotel and i walked across the street i asked him to i was like oh like do you want to come me and he ignored me and i was like do you want something he ignored me i was like all right and because he was sleeping but like awake sleeping if that makes any sense so i walked across the street and like he was going to sleep but awake i don't know if i'm confusing you guys but people that get it get it and then i walked across the street i got i literally took probably like five minutes because there was nobody in there and when i got back he was outside already with his stuff with his suitcase and everything and that is when the whole thing started i swear you guys if i would have known it would have led to that i would have just stayed my ass in the damn hotel room okay one thing i have to interrupt i hate that she's like oh if i would have known he would have freaked out like that i would have stayed in the hotel room and like be obedient like i freaking hate that like that's how that's how those guys like take control It's like oh you know i'm gonna get mad so that she listens because it works like okay like because i got mad she knows that like not to leave like not to leave like you can't leave the hotel room like what is he your dad like that's so like how are you gonna let a man tell you when you can and can't leave the house in 2023 like sis girl red flags all over and just waited um but that's when the whole thing started and he got mad because i went by myself he's like what are you doing walking around here by yourself and this and that like what are you trying to do like are you trying to get other people's attention i was like what the hell like i literally went to go get a starbucks and came back and i even brought him something i was like i even still thought of you even like even though you pissed me off and like you were being a little bitch with me 
I still brought you something. And then I was like, calm down. Like he was screaming and he was just being dramatic, being him. That's who he is. And I was like, calm down. Like there's people outside. Like don't scream like that. Like that's super embarrassing that you're yelling at me like that. People were looking at me like, oh my God, this stupid bitch. Like she's just letting this man talk to her like that. And then I was like, they're, you know, like people are going to call the cops. And like, it was just a lot. I was trying to calm him down, but he was just, he was already like the devil was inside of him. And he was just like, going crazy and i was like oh my god like here we freaking go and then that's when everything went down and you guys already know from the live that i made and i told you guys what had happened um so i'm not gonna go into detail here because it's just like there's no point in to talk about that again like i just don't want to i just don't want to keep bringing negativity into my life like i'm trying to just be positive vibes and positive and i feel like that's just so negative and that's just a chapter of my life that i just want to move past and not talk about anymore literally what that's literally what the whole video was about was that incident so how are you going to talk about the whole incident around it but not actually what happened like y'all already know what happened like i went live once and had a few viewers on there so y'all know like no girl people are busy people got lives like we don't got all day to just sit around waiting for her to go live you know what i'm saying like we got to catch up on the tea on our own time so now people are like, you know, putting the pieces together. And how are you going to act like she didn't literally just say she broke her arm? She broke her arm, allegedly. She literally said that. Y'all, go watch my other video I did, like, of when she was posting on her story during the Puerto Rico. But, like, girl, where is the broken arm? Like, you know, I've just recently started getting into, like, the whole Aileen or whatever, Eileen, whatever her name is. Um... And everyone's always like, she's a liar, she's a liar. Like, girl, it is so hard for anyone to vouch for you when you're on your story being like, I broke my arm. Where is the, like, where is a broken arm? Like, how are you going to say broken arm, not have a broken arm? That is what gets me. <laughs> um, But yeah, you guys, if you guys are wondering how I'm doing now, how I feel, and if there will ever be a chance of me and him ever being together again the answer is no i feel so much more happier i feel so much more at peace and i am just grateful that i was able to get back home alive safe and yeah all right y'all that's it that's all for this video you already know like comment subscribe and thank you for updating me i know, like people will comment on my videos and be like did you see this you did you see that like they do keep like they keep me updated i'm like thank you so much and yes i will be making another video because she just broke some news that she might not be pregnant so i'll bring the receipts for that because we do receipts on my channel that's the thing that's the thing so yeah anyway you already know like comment subscribe and i'll see you in the next video